Hi guys and welcome back to Mini Bike Store video blog. In today's video I want to show you how to replace the rear axle in the large kit squad. We have actually received requests from one of our customers from Belgium who is going to replace the rear axle in his electric large quad. So we decided to make a video to help him and help you if you also will be replacing the axle in the large kit squad. And step by step we will show you how you can do it yourself at home. So let's start the work. So before you start the work, you have to place the quad on the stand, make sure the wheels are uh, lifted, they are in the air. Next on the handlebars, you have to press the rear brake and secure it with the parking brake system, like this. Now we need to remove the both wheels. So first remove the cap, remove the security pin. Now we need to unscrew this nut here. Unscrew the nut. Now pull the wheel. So here is one and do exactly the same from the other side. So now we have the both wheels removed. Next step is to remove the chain guard. So once you have the chain guard removed, you have to look on the chain for the split link. The one is just here. You can see it's a different link on the chain and you have to open the split link and open the chain. So here is the splitting, we have the chain open it. You can remove the chain from the sprocket. So once you disconnected the chain, the next step is you have to unscrew the first nut here, this one here. So at the beginning of the work I have pressed the brake, so the brake is still pressed, this will help to unscrew the nut. So remove both nuts. Next you have to release the brake lever at the handlebars. So release the brake lever. So now the brake lever is released and we have to remove the brake caliper. Just two bolts here. Watch for the spacers and the second one. As you can see, there is a spacer between the brake caliper and between the brake holder. So, when you are installing the brake caliper, you have to fit the spacers. Now we can remove the brake caliper, place it somewhere here. So next you have to pull the disc brake like this, we have the disc brake out and next we have to remove the axle, you have to just hit it here from the right hand side, the axle has to move to the left hand side. So now I have removed the axle and you can remove the sprocket just into the right. So now we have the axle fully removed and you can install the new one the reverse way, but I will show you step by step how to do it as well. So once you have removed the old axle, you can install the new one. So the procedure is exactly the reverse procedure. So first you need to look at the axle. On the one side of the axle we will have the thread, the very long thread here. So this side it has to be on the right hand side. So first you need to install the sprocket this way, like this, through the axle 
into this point. Now insert the axle through the hole. All the way. Like this. So you have the axle in position. The next step is install the disc brake from the other side. Like this. Next you can secure it with the nuts. Insert the second one, but don't put it on the thread yet. Next step is to install the brake caliper. So here we have the bolts for the brake caliper and the spacers. Don't forget to put the spacers between the brake caliper and bet between the mounting. Insert the disc brake between the brake pads first. Just insert the first bolt like this. Don't tighten it yet. And now insert the second one on the bottom. Now tight both bolts. Next press the brake lever and the hardder bars. So again press the brake lever and secure it with the parking brake system. Next you need to tight well the first nut here. Just one, don't do it two at the same time, just one. Next insert the second nut and tight it, just one, the second one. Next you need to insert the chain, so put the chain like this on the sprocket, pull it on the bottom, put it on the sprocket till you see the open links meet in one place and now put the split link on it. Like this, now we have the split link in position. Next, put this part. And the security pin. So we have the chain installed now. Next, we need to install the chain guard. So put the chain guard in position. Install the bolts. And tight all four bolts. So next step, we have to put the wheels on. So put the wheel on, then the washer and the nut. Tight the nut. Install the security pin. and the cap and do the, exactly the same on the other side so this is a procedure you have to follow to replace the uh, rear axle in the large kids quad it can be a petrol one like this one or it can be a large electric quad so as you can see this is a not difficult job uh, it only takes few minutes once you know what you are doing so I hope the guys you find this video helpful. If you like the video, please don't forget to put the thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos about the mini bikes. If you are looking for mini bike for your child, the quad, the dog bike, uh, pocket bike, bogies, we have them all in petrol and electric, over 200 models in stock. You can check our website, the link to our shop is in the description. We deliver our products to 32 European countries. So thanks guys for watching this quick video and see you in the next video.